Another really neat tool with the astrophotography tool is its ability to help with uh, focusing using the Bartonoff mask. Star with a bright star in field of view here and you can see that I've already um, put the Bartonoff mask over the top of the, um, the, the the front of the telescope. Obviously we can focus by eye to a point in terms of getting the six or neatly intersect and that's about the best as I can do it by eye here uh, just demonstrating to you the first before showing what the software's got built in to assist with so obviously we need to get this quite spot on so I'm going to zoom in and there we have it so that looks reasonably spot on uh, to me usually I play around a little bit just to get a bit of fine tuning that's going slightly off so go out to go back in that, to me looks reasonably good but how accurate is it because if we go to let me just come out now in fact I'll probably see if I can bring the telescope into field of view a bit more uh, what we've got is the Bartonoff aid that you can see on the top right hand of the screen there. So if I click on the Bartonoff, in case you're wondering, this is live, I'm sure you figured that out already. Um, and I'm going to pop this thing over the top. When you click on it, you get this window coming up and uh, it's showing the preview of, a, oh, of the diffraction. Um, spike I've already taken. Now what you've got to do is you have to put your focal length in millimetres, the diameter in millimetres and the pixels populate in there. Then all you do is click on recalc exactly how focused you are. So if you look at the three, the two red and the green lines you can see we are a tad out according to this which I can believe. So we've got the two circles you can see there. It's never going to be totally done because of you know, shakiness in the, in the atmosphere doesn't help. But what we're going to try and do is this is the tricky procedure is to get those intersecting as spot on as we can get it so and that is according to the software play with that a fair bit more but what this might help is if you've been using the Barsenoff mask but you've never had the focus spot on and you've been blaming the collimation this could be a useful utility to um, pull up to show how spot on it is. So if I remove that, how does that look against, remind you to take the button off mask as well, um, remove it after you've done, which I've <laughs> I have sometimes forgotten to do so. So if I zoom in now, that actually looks, well, a bit better than I had it before. So quite a useful tool there in in terms of um, using the button off mask as a you know focusing aid yeah this is, this is a good tool to help you use the button off mask more effectively so um, I just wanted to show you that very briefly um, in, in this tutorial because um, I'm going to crack on now and um, see what else we can do it's really informative for you and um, I thank you for watching